Your feet could go like around there. Okay. Cool. Thank you. That would be awesome. Thank you for doing this, dude. Of course, man. Thank you for having me. So, Ollie. What's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I was 13 months and I was crawling in the kitchen and my dad didn't see me and so he like stepped on my spine and like crushed it so I was paralyzed. What I hate is like when people stare at me and it's like sometimes it can be like little kids and then it can be like grown-ups that know better. We'll be in the mall and they just be staring in my head I'm like what are you looking at like yes I'm in the wheelchair yes like okay what else. I used to be so rude in public. I'd look at people that were looking at me like that. I'm like, why are you looking at me for? And then they would just immediately stop looking at me and walk the other way. And then I look at my mom and then she said, be nice, calm down, calm down. I'm like, but why are they looking at me like that? And then I'd be telling my mom, do those people think badly of me or do they just want me to like change? Like everybody has their soft spot, right? And like my soft spot is my alopecia. It started getting really bad towards junior year. And that's when like everything started falling off. And I was like embarrassed to go back to like school. I couldn't wear like a hat or anything else you know, to like cover it up because we had uniforms and stuff. I would always be thinking like, oh, is there somebody like behind me looking at my hair or like, or like talking about me? Or, like, you know, like thoughts that were just like running in my mind the whole time and I wouldn't be able to con concentrate. I think like the worst thing that I've ever experienced, it was like when I first started Instagram and like kids were so stupid. They was like, oh, how do you do this and you're in a wheelchair? Like trying to make fun of it and stuff. Then they'll like DM me and be like, oh, how do you babe? How do you get dressed? Like, how do you get dressed? How do you babe? It's the same way. It's just a little bit different. They sent like laughing faces with it. It's just stuff like that just really like gets me. There was this one specific day where things really weren't going my way and I felt so down and depressed. And I, I was trying to call my mom and dad. They were busy with work. So I called my brother. I was asking him, I've been having trouble at school with a lot of teasing and bullying. How do I develop a type of self-esteem that will let me keep pursuing what I want to do in school without worrying what other people would think about me? And basically my brother told me that in this world, people don't know how to listen. And if you re really want the bullying to stop or the teasing to stop, you have to find new friends. Because if you keep staying with them, it's not going to change and the burden is going to be on you. My mom always told me, let friends come to you. You don't go to them because it's never going to work out. Like, I just don't like heartbreaks and stuff like that. So When it comes to a point where you're like, you can't take anymore. So it's just like, you got to accept for like the person who you are and then like, it takes time, like time heals all uh, like the pain, you know? Some friends that I have, I still stick with because they're actually what I call my bros. They actually know how I feel and they actually know what my albinism means to me, you know? I used to always want to like die. I had like this dark spirit because of what happened to me. And so it's just like, I felt like nobody was going to ever like accept it. I don't know, I was just young. Now I get it now. I understand that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yes, I want to walk and, you know, yes, I want better stuff to happen to me as I get older. But, I mean, I love my life, so I wouldn't change it. I still feel a little bit insecure about it, like posting a picture without my hat on because, like, most of my pictures are with the hat on. I, I, I want, I don't want it. I, I want to ask if you want to take your hat off. Yeah, for sure. I'll take it off. <laughs> Dude. A handsome guy, man. <laughs> yeah. How does that feel? Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's sometimes where I just want to like let go, you know. I want to be free. Yeah, that makes me happy, man.